Hello. This video is created by Websoft Creation. Websoft Creation is a software company based in Jaipur. We also give a corporate training to various engineering students. We provide projects for them and uh, we will deliver our full knowledge to them. So, today I am going to tell you how we can create a login page and uh, a user can log in we can check the entries which has been given by the user uh, with the database and uh, if he is uh, successfully log in then he will uh, redirect on the welcome page so it is a very important task to build any kind of website and uh, if you are working on a website on a dynamic website then you have to create a login so today i am going, uh, going to tell you how we can create login to give a better look uh, to our login control we should use field set control field set control is provide uh, a html interface just like here you can see legend legend is to give the heading to our field set control you can see the output of this legend control uh, just like it and uh, now i am going to uh, give a html table over here i am taking four rows and two columns right i will give here name username and uh, here i will write password i am giving here a text box we will get which will uh, get the username from the user and uh, another control to take password okay you can change the text of this uh, control by using the text mode property of this control like uh, you can see here text mode uh, have three properties single line multi line and password we will use password because if you run on this on the browser then you will see that text will be display in a password mode okay now i am going going to uh, take an uh, button control which is used to sign sign in and uh, a level control which will uh, which will show the error if user giving a wrong user id or password okay i am giving the text on the button sign in i am using the my data database and uh, i have login tables in which table i have mentioned you name and password i will match the data from this table which has been given by the user so you have to create a connection with the uh, sql server to give connection or to write connection string we have to give a uh, sql connection string class and the uh, sql connect connection string class is available in using system dot data dot sql client okay now i will make a connection with my database by using sql connection class i will write here the server name uh, server name is you can see the server name of your sql server from here just like click on here and you will find the server name copy it and paste it we can't use a slash in c sharp in a string because c sharp uh, 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 use uh, as a treat it as a as like a, a escape character so i have mentioned as also, uh, also i have added a single slash also here and uh, i am giving the database name my data this is my database name then integrated security as we know that we are connecting with the windows authentication and if we are connecting with the uh, windows authentication then we have to write this string integrated security sspi actual mein uh, sspi provides uh, a network socket socket class okay so i have mentioned i have created uh, a connection with the sql server now i am going to write an sql string where i will count count asterisk from login logins where you name equals to 
plus text log one dot text plus equals to and the another field name is another field name is maybe pass yeah this one is pass and pass equals to tx sorry text box 2 dot text okay now i will use sql command sql command is provide an interface to fire our commands to in the sql server i will mention the uh, command which i want to fire in database and uh, it will return the num number of rows where the username and text box username and password is equals to text box 1 and text box 2 respectively okay now sql command i have mentioned the interface sql command sql command have an, a, a method which is a S execute scalar we can use execute scalar scalar where we want to get a single data from database and as we know that this, this command this sql command will return the single value okay so right here uh, integer i it is my local variable and uh, i am using here convert dot to integer 16 it is a, it is a short integer then cmd dot execute scalar okay execute scalar it will return the single data over here uh, it will count the data and now i am writing some code here i equals to equals to zero it means that whatever you have given in text box one and text box two is not matching with the username password which is available in database it means that he is not a he or she is not a authenticate user so i will write here level one dot text equals to wrong entries or else response dot redirect welcome dot xx okay so uh, you can create the welcome dot xx and uh, you can mention the data or uh, you can make any kind of user in, uh, interface whatever you want so this code has mentioned all the things that how we can create login uh, login in our website we how we can uh, match the data which has given by the user with the our database if user is successfully login then he will redirect to welcome.expx so the video has been completed and uh, as i told you all earlier that uh, uh, if you have any kind of queries and you can email us on info at the rate websoftcreation.co.in i am repeating it info at the rate websoftcreation.co.in Thank you for watching this video.